Welcome back to some more Minecraft, everybody. This is Dallas, the slime here. <laughs> Never introduced myself that way. I am a slime. I'm down here. I've been working in here a little bit, uh, just reshaping it to make it look more like a cave. As you can see, I've been putting stone slabs and stairs and cobwebs up there. I'm putting doors to, um, to areas that you might expand to. This is a cave, for example, over here. Uh, this looks like part of the cave, but I got a small table in here. Maybe this is where this crime lord stays. <laughs> I want to put people down here. I think that'd be pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, I've been expanding over this way. Just changing up the storage system here. We got some barrels. This is, after all, just all armor, if you didn't know, and rotten flesh. <laughs> I am excited to get today's project finished. Uh, if you could tell by the title, we're making a very specific build down in the ruins, and it is actually an old prison. And I'm actually going to make a use for this prison. What's that? Whoa. How long have you been there? I must have found this or something. My sword ain't looking too good. What if I can repair it? Whee! Yeah! 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 I'm getting the blackstone place through here. I need some deep slate to finish this. But I got the blackstone going all the way down here. This requires a lot. I tell you what. This was one nether visit and I brought back a whole shulker box full of them. I need that. I need those. I need that. Place that there. Get this out. Get that out. Place that and that. Go here. Great sword. Combine these two. Please don't be expensive. Oh my god, I've never repaired this. That's fantastic. Up. Oh, spider silk too ain't looking good. I need that. I need this and that. Okay, I'm not gonna do that again. Beautiful. All right. Okay, so uh, I've expanded the walls as far as I want them to go. I think I need to go one more block over that way. But I have a new pathway, and this leads over here. So as you can see, this is how much I've expanded over this way. Uh, oh, there's a slime over th Oh, yeah, there's a lot of slime chunks in here. Um, but this is going to lead to our ancient prison. And right here, I'm deciding how this is going to look. This is actually going to be an observing area, but it's going to be a giant round room. It's going to be taller than this, too. Uh, it's going to be a really tall room. But in the center, there is going to be another circle. And this is going to be a pit. This pit is where these ancient people used to throw, I guess you can say, dead bodies. <laughs> Maybe the ones that weren't worthy enough to be put in a tomb or just criminals. It's going to be a very deep pit and we're going to have bones at the bottom and spikes. But around this room, I want to have hanging cages. And I want it to look like this is where people waited until they were thrown into the pit or whatever. But in my cages, I am actually going to put my alleys here. Ones that I'm not using and ones that I'll use for future use. I'm just going to put them in here. Maybe. First of all, we got to get this place built. So I've got a lot of digging to do. The dig continues. Great game, by the way. The, not this one. I mean, this is a great game. But the game called The Dig released in 1995, that's actually when I was born, it is a great adventure puzzle solving game. Give it a shot. I think it's free on Amazon Prime Games. I love it. Here's our roof so far. I'm doing a slow slant upwards, as you can see, uh, with slabs and normal blocks. And then you can see how tall it's going to be. It's about 15 blocks tall. It's a big room. Still a lot more to do, though. <sighs> I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Okay, everything that needs to be out is out. Looks pretty cool. I love making these big rooms like this. Oh, look at that. I put a little dome piece up there with cobbled deep slate. I think that breaks up the roof a little bit, makes it look a little more majestic. This is the base layer of the room. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, I need to get rid of all these blocks. I feel like, see, now I was just going to do blackstone on the wall, but I feel like I need to mix it up somehow. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I went with all blackstone. I love the look. We're going to do a lot of work in here today. But one thing I really like about this, with it raining right there, this looks like a sewer, doesn't it? I wish you could do this effect in this game without it raining. Just like dripping like that. Cause this looks like a giant sewer hub right here. Oh, this makes me want to redo my sewers like this, but with stone brick. This is a pretty cool room. We got a lot to do. So as you can see, we have a little viewing area right here. I made a 
door coming down this way. That's where we're going to expand when we decide to expand this ancient ruin even more. I think I'm just gonna put iron bars right here and people can come up and view. I don't know what to do next. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Gotta design a floor. I gotta figure out lighting because I want it to be lit up around there. We gotta damage the place up. We gotta put the cages. We gotta put the hole in the ground. We gotta design all this. Come back through, damage it all up. Whew, man, I've been giving myself some big projects lately. Oh, baby. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love how it turned out. The cages are perfect. The bats flying around in here. Ooh, it's all coming together. Oh, man. Okay, so as you can see, added in seven cages. That's a viewing spot, so I didn't want to put one there. And I got them on some sort of like pulley system, so it looks like they can be lowered if they need to be, like this one. Oh, the bat wants to go in. <laughs> this one is open, so we're making it, well, I'm just making it look like they were about to load another one. Who knows what happened to this civilization? For all we know, they just disappeared. Next, we're going to make the pit. We're gonna have to run through, damage all these walls. I might actually, yeah. I think I'm gonna put some vines coming down. This natural light, especially when it's nighttime, is so nice, but I don't think I'm gonna keep that hole there. Lighting's gonna be troublesome in this room. I'll figure out something though. See, look at this moonlight right here. This, this is what I want in Minecraft. Of course, we have the option for it, but for example, look at torches. They give off a nice warm light, but soul torches, for example, just give off a like a darker warm light. I wish soul torches could give off this light. Wait a minute, as far as I know. Yeah, see, it's just, <laughs> I think the soul light should give off somewhat of a light like this. But I don't think they can do that because they've mentioned before it is very hard for some reason for them to add colored lights in Minecraft. That's why you don't see the option to have colored redstone lamps, which I think would be amazing in this game. It's just their engine doesn't support it. It's ready to be harvested. I need to keep on that. I've had this build in the back of my head that uses honeycomb blocks for a long time, but I need a lot of it. I actually just need to make a farm of that, like an automatic farm. We should probably try that sometime. We're taking a break. We're gonna do something else real quick. I have an idea. I need a very specific block though. And from the looks of things, I don't have that specific block. There's a closet that I think has this ah! <coughs> block. <coughs> And I believe that closet is here, in the mansion. We haven't been in here in a little bit. Huh. Hello? Everything seems fine in here. That's good. I think it's this closet. Ah! Seven. Yes, it's this block. Please tell me there's more. No! No! Why are my doors gone? I don't like that. I'm gonna go sleep in my cellar. <laughs> oh wait, should I sleep? I need to grow brown mushrooms. Luckily, I was in a soul sand valley recently. I collected a lot of bone blocks. Ingredients, no. Hmm. Plants, there we are. Please tell me you can plant these in the day. Of course you can't. That is the stupidest Minecraft rule ever. Who put that in the game? What? Are you kidding? Why can't I place one here, out of all places? Whatever. Ah. There's the block I need. You know, I kind of overlook this block too in the game. Mushroom stem, that's a decent looking block. I mean, look at that, it's a nice white color. Okay, I believe I have everything. Yeah, these are the blocks we're gonna need for our build here. Uh, you might be wondering what the heck we're doing. Um, I messed around in my world with some texturing. I believe I want to attempt to finally finish the path design in our wasteland. Oh my gosh, like. So currently I have this path, it started off as basalt, and it doesn't look bad, but it just doesn't fit this area. Oh wait, I thought I changed it up. Oh, I probably reverted back to a backup. Then I put down packed mud, and I liked the look of that better. After I look at it though, it doesn't look too bad having that through there, but it looks too perfect, you know? So I'm gonna dig all this up, and I think I'm going to actually make it a little bit different, like in the direction it's going. Oh, this is gonna take a while. <sighs> that was a lot of basalt. Okay, so this is the pathway I came up with. As you can see, mushroom in the middle, mud, packed mud on the outside. Then I got some rooted dirt, normal dirt, and then coarse dirt. There's also something else I'm gonna sprinkle in here, but this is just 
the base of it. I think I like it. It looks all right. Actually, problem is I need rooted dirt. How do you get this again? I do not want to go out to a lush cave and gather it there. Can you do it like this? Is this the way to do it? I hope so. No, I thought it was. No, you do it on top? No, I thought you could, I'm, I'm missing something. Wait a minute, I'm wrong. You gotta put rooted dirt down and then you bone meal this to get roots and then you pick up the roots and combine that with dirt. God, wait, wait, you can't combine it? Wait, so the only way to get rooted dirt block is, oh no. Oh, it adds so much to it though, I need this block. Ugh, no, I don't like the look of it without rooted dirt in it. I guess at some point I'm just gonna have to go out and find another azalea tree, that sucks. Okay, well you guys get the idea of my pathway. This is gonna have to be worked on over time. So yeah, this is what the final product would eventually look like. Mix in some jungle wood, jungle buttons, and it just looks great. It, I think it blends in well with that. Makes it just look like a path that's walked on a lot, but I need a lot of rooted dirt for this. I want to answer today's comic question of the day, which comes from Fireflight TM. Dallas, if you want to add age to the house with vines, why don't you put string under it to have it stop growing? I don't know, because I didn't think of it. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I didn't think of that. There's a lot of places throughout my house where I think there's too many vines and I just always rely on just breaking them off when I walk by. I'm gonna go try this. String. Okay, these vines, for example, they sometimes can get a little annoying. Yeah, I guess it is that simple. But look, I mean, I can notice that. I don't like that. You know, I think I have tried this before. Um, okay, right here, for example, let's say I wanted it at that length. Yeah, see, that stops it. I guess it's not, that noticeable but I can see it so clearly at certain angles you don't see it at all but it's just when you run past so I'll just answer another common question from B firm JR number two what is the main way you come up for ideas for builds and projects I think the main way is playing other games so the main idea of the ruins was all inspired from Skyrim I recently had a Skyrim playthrough and I thought it would be really cool to try to implement that into my world but the main idea comes from Skyrim most of this that you see here is literally just imagined in my head so for example the room we just built or rather this one right here I just pictured a giant room with tombs lining the whole floor and I wanted it to be a little bit bigger than this but I just stopped here <laughs> I mean this is big enough there's plenty of tombs in here this room, I actually got inspired by the movie 300. I just remembered that scene where Leonidas kicks the guy into the big pit. And I'm like, you know what? I want a big pit. Even though this one isn't... I mean, yeah, it's kind of big. We got to dig it out. But then I pictured what would be in this room with the pit. So I pictured a giant room. And then I thought, why are these people being kicked down here? And I thought maybe they're prisoners. So I pictured hanging cages. And then I thought I might put my alleys in here. I still might. Uh, I added some more cells over here, as you can see. Maybe this is where they're holding. We're going to expand this way and hopefully connect to the library. But yeah, uh, I still got a lot of work to do in here. I don't know what those are. I'm messing around with some stuff. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty cool. What do you guys think? I'm going to go ahead and edit it here. I'll see you guys in the next episode, maybe on the new year. Oh, and I added this right here. Um, I want a fast way to get down here, and I like the natural light, so I thought this would be pretty cool to have this here in case I want to get down there fast. Made it look a little ruined. I'm going to have to be careful, though, because that is going to be a big pit. All right, see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.